Hey man, it's the ISO guy sensei, the greatest nigga on 2K Enix. It's and look man, I'm finna teach y'all how to shoot on NBA 2K23. And I'm gonna give you five to six of the best jump shots in the game. And teach you all about it. I'm gonna show you the best shooting badges. So y'all are gonna wanna watch this full video. Make sure you don't skip or you will miss out on something. But before we get into all that, make sure y'all like the video. It's free, it requires little effort, and helps out the video a lot. Make sure y'all subscribe if you're new, and turn on them goddamn post notice. It's supposed to be your moment. This supposed to be your moment. It's supposed to be your moment. What good is being the one when you the only one that knows it? Now, as you can see, man, I have a win percent like this every year, and I do not try for it, bro. I do not try. Um, I actually do be playing with randoms and bums and playing stage, and I, I don't I don't care where I don't care if my win percent is a 70 something really, bro. But um, yeah, like this is just what naturally happens, man. But anywho, let's get into the video. I know what I'm talking about. I'm amazing every year. I play with bots beat comp players every year they always pull up on me look at my swole ass my player nigga anywho man firstly what i want to tell y'all okay set team now your shot meter bro on and off if y'all do not know 2k lab dropped some information basically saying that this year the shot meter off boost is not as big as it was in the past so they're saying, you know, you can use meter now for some reason. Um, Me personally, bro, when I use the meter, I can't shoot as good. I don't know what it is. In his information, bro, I'm going to show it on the screen. He basically saying that it's not as forgiving and, and all this and that. He's saying that it's virtually the same. I don't know if I too much believe that, but I mean, this is this what he tested, man. So, I mean, y'all could test with and without meter um i feel better without meter now this shot timing right here put this hole on very late <laughs> bro 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 i'm telling you man I'm telling you man even mike wang tweeted about this because he be lurking in my fucking streams and still in sauce nigga about his own game that he don't know bro but he also said on twitter that um apparently there's no competitive advantage. It's just your release point or whatever, blah, blah, whatever the fuck the nigga say, I'll show it. But uh, I'm telling you, personal experience, man. After that first game you play, where it's hella easy to score, I scored like 130 points, right? With uh, no attributes. Then when I played the next game, bro, I started off 0-11 from shooting. I switched it to very late, ever since then i've been cash i don't know why y'all let me know what um if y'all are using meter this year y'all also let me know if you're using shot timing down below also for your shot feedback some people take this off because like less delay and all that i mean if you want it that bad you could do something like that i personally rock all shots like if you're struggling you might want to do something like that now this stuff right here some people believe it adds more delay to your player and stuff like that so they take off the under shit they take off the release meter and the jump shot they take it all off right me personally i'm gonna leave it all on but i mean if you're struggling or you want to be more cash it's something to test and play with you know the indicator the perfect release the jump shot meter whatever man they take it all off I see comp players play and they, they keep it on, bro. So, I mean, and them niggas don't get off the game. You know, they have no life, no job, like staying with their parents type shit. And, you know, like, you know, they gonna figure it out. They gonna uh, play by any exploit means necessary, my boy. And I don't really see a lot of them really do it. Okay, now look, right here, bro, this drill right here, bro. You want to do this drill, okay? And you want to complete it and basically it's going to make it to where you get 25 percent off for the gatorade man i'm on current gen right now um I'm, i'll be on next but um look i, I currently don't have the 25 percent off or do i 
I don't know actually what I have on, but you see a discount, man. If you guys didn't know, stamina relates to your jump shooting a lot. And by the way, y'all add me if y'all want to uh, get at it. Actually, don't add me. If you want an ad, make sure you join and become a member to the uh, YouTube channel. Let me know. Show proof. Link is in description. But yeah, if y'all didn't know, the less stamina you have, the slower your jump shot is. If people close out real quick on you, your jump shot increases by like 30%, they say, your speed. So basically, they basically are forcing you guys to buy Gatorades. Very expensive. I mean, you can go without it. Um, guards need it more than most people. But if you want to be cash, Gatorade is the way. Maybe one of these hoes will do. But um, yeah, bro, if you know you're going to go play some comp or some other different type of shit, you know you got to stack up on this shit. And this, this is a scam, bro. It's over $120 to max out your build. Then they create the game. Then y'all are in such support of this stamina shit and this adrenaline shit which basically makes people even buy gatorade more you're basically scamming yourself it just because you lack in skill it's so sad <laughs> i'll be trying to tell y'all but no one understands bro but um it, it's not it's not like the best 2ks didn't have stamina restrictions but hey that's besides the point i know that's gonna make y'all mad but i'm just saying think bro think they have to implement defense my boy it's not slowing down the offense, it's implementing the defense. 16 defense was amazing. The offense was stupid galactic speed, okay? But anywho, um, this Gatorade shit, man, it's going to help you a lot. Let me show you another thing before we get into the badges. Your skill boost, yes, this will help you shoot, man. But if you don't want to do it, you don't have to. But this is just a monopoly. This is what they do. I'm just giving you the gems, the secrets, man. This is what all the comp players are going to have on. I mean, but if you are casual, you do not have to invest in this. Do not care about your win percent. If you're not getting paid off this whole. And look, that look, that nigga Zach 2K, whatever the fuck that nigga name is. That nigga had a 40 win percent, boy. That nigga juiced. Agent, win percent terrible. Them niggas have trash win percents. I'm telling you, this shit is not about win percents. If you are up and coming content creator or you want to become one, fuck that shit, bro. But it do matter for you bot niggas. Don't think I don't know. Now look, you want your hot spots, bro. Okay, I know hot, hot zone hunter is not here, but hot spots still will help you shoot a lot. I don't know if my career transfers to the parks and all that other stuff y'all are gonna have to educate each other down below if you have any knowledge about that please let everybody know and if y'all know any other shooting tips let let everyone else know down down below also now let's get into these badges man okay agent threes is a must have on your build okay this is for next and current gen by the way uh it is a must have on your you might accidentally fade any any type of shit it's a and then they have they say they combine chef with it too must have okay this is i'm gonna go over the point guard shit man let me uh take all this shit off must have for point guard okay maybe this low tier you know i'm gonna make a whole video of the best shooting badges but th this is just a little bit of knowledge man green machine it's going to be better than the previous years because of um you only make green shots so now every build needs to have green machine on i used to always preach stop putting green machine on but now you actually want green machine but if it works the same way it does it activates after like two three jump shots not too sure yet but we will get that info soon when the modded controllers figure it out midi magician eh, and you know Volume shooter, eh, I don't really know. Guard up, uh, debatable if it works. Um, consistently. Um, corner specialist, uh, Claymore, uh, amped. You want this high, okay? This is for point guards, okay? Or people running the ball. Blinders, uh, debatable. A lot of people say it don't work. Clutch shooter, mm, low tier. Dead eye, uh, a lot of people say it might not work. Limitless range, yes space creator yes and um yeah bro 
Now, if you are a lockdown, if you're garden ball, stuff like that, what you are going to want to do, you're gonna to want to have catch and shoot maxed, okay? Um, even a bit of agent threes, to be honest, because you might accidentally fade. Uh, comeback hit, maybe. Uh, the green machine, definitely lower tier. Uh, guard up, maybe. Corner specialist, you definitely want max. Claymore, you definitely want a little bit of it. Maybe even maxed. Amped, uh, you know, maybe debatable, okay? The blinders, uh, we'll see. Clutch shooter, yeah, you lower tier though. Dead eye, who knows if that really works. Limitless range, yes. But it, it all depends, because usually most people are corner sitters, but if you can get more, you want to go for it. Space creator, eh. Now with the uh spot up center builds, basically um the same goes. The same goes. You might want to have agent threes a little higher. Like if you're doing pick and pop and stuff, and you might want to have green machine a little higher, maybe, right? And uh, maybe the guard up too. Uh, eh. Claymore, you know, uh, same same goes, same goes. But um, and then you might want to have the dead eye a little higher, maybe. But that's if we we don't know if it really works yet. The limitless range, of course, you're wanna, gonna want to have this like max type of stuff. And yeah, bro, that's enough of the badges. Now let's. Hey man, so look, bro, I'm finna give y'all three top tier guard jump shots right now and um then i'm gonna give y'all some six five and maybe a big man one too okay pay attention so firstly man this is for heights under six five this is a very amazing jump shot high release speed high defensive immunity and high timing impact there's a lot of people posting jump shot videos with no timing impact um finna let y'all know that when you read about timing impact they released it in some article bro it basically says that it's sniper bro like literally sniper is built into this game with other features and um it's gonna make it easier to hit your greens basically so you want a high timing impact on your jump shot pro tip okay started here first man um, I've been new about this, but I couldn't hear, you know, I, I, you know, but anywho, this is a super nice jump shot for 6.5. Y'all let me know if y'all use this. So let's go to the next jumper, my boy. Now, here's another one. You know, we use his brother. <laughs> Same exact result. You know, you can use this one also. This is for 6.5 and under. Now, another 6.5 and under jump shot. We got D Wade, nigga. You know, we got the high defensive immunity for a contest. Uh, re release high, I don't really think that that whole matters. Um, but got the stupid high release speed and the nice timing impact. Y'all let me know if y'all ever find some uh, nice jump shots, man. But um, yeah, this is for the 6.5 and under. Let's get into the other builds. Okay, so look. We got a 6.5 through 6.10 jump shot. Very nice speed. And, um, yeah, hold on. Let me, let me show y'all. <laughs> you know, talk to me. Here goes another jump shot. If you want it slower, easier to time, higher green window, got high defensive immunity, time and impact makes it more forgiving. What's this, like seven jump shots? Yeah. Uh... Here goes another 6.5 through uh, 6.10. You know, what's this? Eight jump shots. Here goes another uh, decent jump shot. What's this? Nine? Oh, uh, this is nine. This is the jump shot right here, bro. Here goes another 6.5 through uh, 6.10 jump shot. Now, for the next jump shot, the number 10. Um, I can't make it on this player, bro. But the bigs, y'all use Durant. Use uh, KD for your base. And um, some releases you might want to mess with is Giannis, uh, Dirk, and Embiid. It, it was on like another account I was using, man. Uh, and yeah, you should be able to make some like straight A plus stuff. But yeah, man. Talk to me. Y'all let me know if y'all use one of these jump shots. Come back and let me know. 
which one you found was the best for you anywho man y'all make sure y'all follow me on twitch man link is in description lord baby hawk if you want some entertainment need help with your builds whatever if y'all want to be on the friends list play with me play cod with me if you want to 1v1 me y'all make sure y'all become a member of the channel uh you can hit join on the channel or there's a link down below in uh, the description and you know or if you just want to support your boy so I do be putting a lot of y'all on every year man most impact anywho y'all watch one of these uh two videos man but hey hey here we go again yeah. here, here we go again people talking this but when this hit the fan everything I'm that made me now break it down yo off the top of the dome, dome.